The last one I want to cover because uh, it's a hot topic uh, with the FDA and with AI in general is model bias. Uh, so the whole idea is the AI can be biased. Now, when we talk about model bias in the context of medical devices, um, what, what would you, what would you, how would you explain that? Like, what's the easy way to explain it? So that's when you're feeding it bad training data, more or less. Um, this could so this be... goes back to like if we go back to the cat example that we kind of I guess we kind of talked about model bias right already, but we just yeah. didn't label it model bias. Yeah. So like with the cat example, if you feed it a hundred thousand images of orange cats and fifty images of black cats, it's probably going to assume that most cats are orange, which there are a lot of orange cats, but not all cats are orange. And so it's mm. going to be heavily biased towards identifying orange cats yep. instead of black cats or instead of gray cats or whatever. So with medical, if I, if I, the, the tumor example, if I feed it like millions of tumors with cancer and very few without, it's going to have a bias towards diagnosing cancer. Yeah, right? it's going to it's going to assume at a baseline that people have cancer. It's okay. going to say, well, I've looked at, you know, one million and ten slides of tumors and one million of them were malignant. So I'm going to just assume that anyone with a tumor has cancer because most of my training data says that most tumors have cancer in them. So that's where having a really good data set for training becomes super important. Additionally, a lot of manufacturers... A diverse, a diverse data set, like people like to say, right? Yeah, a diverse data set. A lot of manufacturers will also try to essentially take a pre-built model and use it for a different application, which makes sense. Uh, AI models are time-consuming and expensive to train. So they'll say that, well, someone else has already trained this model. Like ChatGPT is a, you know, a great model. We can just put a wrapper around it and use it for our own purposes. They've already spent the money and the time to train it up, so why don't we use it? But what if there's a bias or a problem in ChatGPT? And they introduce that bias into their own model inadvertently by using a pre-trained model. So training your own model, while of course it's very difficult and expensive, has a lot of upsides in the fact that you can control exactly what's going on and try to filter out these biases in advance. 